All right, so I just opened my Lightroom and realized that we just got three new features that I quickly want to cover because I think they are super cool. So it's gonna be a really quick video, but the first one that we got in Lightroom Classic now is that if you choose a preset, this one doesn't look very good, but this up here is new. So you've got this slider where you can now increase or decrease the intensity of the preset, which is super cool. I think that's gonna be so, so helpful for all of you that buy presets and you use presets. I don't really do that much myself, but this is a super cool feature and it works with all kinds of presets. So if we just choose something else that I have here that is only influencing the tone curve, that will make the intensity more or less as well. So that's a super, super cool feature. The next one that they just released, I really like as well, is that now you can highlight more pictures. And the two AI masks that we have, one is the select subject, the other is select sky. Now you can, if you have auto sync on, you can select subject or sky, and it will work through all three. So you can see now that when we switch between them, they have it had added the detect subject to all of them. That is just super, super nice. That's gonna make it so much easier to work with the photos in the future. And just for this photo, as you can see, that has done a pretty good selection. This last feature that I noticed was really cool is that you can now duplicate and invert. And I usually duplicate my, my masks and invert them because then I have full control over my subject and my background as well, which is super cool. So now you have the button, which is gonna be so nice as well. So you just click that and it selects the entire background instead. And it actually works with the uh, multifunction as well as see now i didn't try that before so that is just super super cool and just to show you why i do that is that now we can just increase this a little bit this is not going to look good and we can decrease the background just make your subject stand out this is a horrible edit it was not the purpose but just to show you how that works and that has just been done for all three photos it's going to be so much quicker to edit now that's just that's super cool. Just a really quick video to show you these features. I thought it was really nice. So I'll catch you in the next one.